What's up, sons? It's Blind Ride with Sound Tech once again, and welcome to another case review video. Antech sent over a case that I'm going to hopefully get together for DreamHack Dallas, but I did want to get a review out as soon as possible so you guys can take a look. It's called the Dark Avenger. The product number is DA601, and there'll be a link to it in the description below in case you're interested. Now, this series isn't anything new from Antech. Uh, in fact, we've actually done a build the Call of Duty mod which is actually sitting over here uh, in a case that's very very similar to it. It's a mid tower case and it has pretty much all the same features except it is a little taller and supports a 360 rad in the top of the case. So let's go over it right now. So starting things off, we have the dimensions, which is 480 by 220 by 500 millimeters. The form factor is a mid tower. However, like I said, it's a little bit taller there. So the height is 500 millimeters. The materials are SPCC and plastic. It does support EATX uh, up to 12 inches by 11 inches, which is awesome. ATX and micro ATX. The IO at the top of the case includes a USB 3.0, two of them, a mic and uh, audio out, and then you got your power reset and then an ARGB control button. Now what's really cool about that is in case your motherboard doesn't actually support it, which we're thinking about about putting this little gem of an X58 in there for a little bit for testing. We'll see how that goes because I need to test a new cooler on the X5675. So if you're interested in that, hit the sub. But what's nice is since this doesn't actually support ARGB, I can still hook up all the ARGB to that controller and control it with the button on the top of the board. So if you go and remove the rear panel, you'll see that there's the controller there and it has plenty of ports for you to just plug up as much as you want. Now, in conjunction with that, I picked up another Prism 120 ARBG kit and I have a review of that that I will link up here for you to go check out. Make sure you do that. It's one of my favorite RGB kits. It comes with three fans and two LED strips. It's all just a nice, neat little package. It even comes with a controller that you can then use to pass through to your board to have your motherboard control it, which syncs everything up. I have it installed in the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 mod. And so when I am drowning, all the lights turn blue. When I'm dying, it turns red. It's, it's just fun. It's great. And it all syncs up and works fantastically. That being said, moving on to the rest of the specs, I was a little saddened to see that there's no USB-C because that's pretty commonplace now. So I think the IO could benefit greatly from having a USB-C at the top there. It's okay, we'll, we'll move past it. As far as hard drive support, you can do two three and a half inch drives uh, with the removable bays in the bottom. Now I did almost strip out a screw <laughs> on the power supply shroud. So there's four on the bottom of the case to that you need to remove and four on the top of the power supply shroud and then you can pull the hard drive cage out. Just be careful with the uh, Phillips head screws in the top of the, the, the power supply shroud. Now, if you want to, you can support up to four two and a half inch drives uh, by converting the three and a half inch drives, but it does come with two on the back side of the panel there behind the rear panel. If you remove that, you have two uh, two and a half inch drives that you can install. So basic, you know, SSDs for the most part is what you're gonna be looking at. Now, fan support is where this case really does shine. You can fit three 120 millimeter fans in the front and in the top, another three 120 millimeter fans or two 140 millimeter fans. In the rear, you can uh, fit a single 120 millimeter fan and it includes a one 120 millimeter prism ARGB fan in the front in one 120 millimeter regular fan in the rear. I was a little disappointed that they didn't just go ahead and include two Prism ARGB fans. If you're gonna include them, I realize that it's a probably a price cutting thing. However, you know, you already have that ARGB support built into the case. 
you have the ARGB on the front panel and the ARGB on the, the front fan, why not just go ahead with that tempered glass and include another one? I found that decision to be a little odd to say the least. Now, radiator support, 360 millimeter rad in the front, up to 55 millimeter thickness, including fans. However, what's cool about this and what I found uh, previously is that 55 millimeters, a full 55 millimeter rad will fit in that slot and then the front fans if you're just going to do a push configuration on that radiator you can still fit those three front fans there and that's how i have it configured in the black ops 4 mod and in the rear you could fit a 120 millimeter uh, radiator i wouldn't really recommend it but the top is good too as well it supports a 360 millimeter radiator or a 280 millimeter radiator they also just released a prism ARGB kind of 240 millimeter rad cooling solution that I really want to check out. I'll leave a link to it down below. It looks really, really slick and I think it would go really well with the 200 millimeter, 280 millimeter rad up in the top or 240 millimeter, either one. Um, because it does support the 360, of course, it's going to support the, the, the 240 as well. You just might have to move it around a little bit, even though it's not officially supported on the spec sheet here. Now, max GPU length is 400 millimeters, max CPU cooler height is 160 millimeters, and max PSU length is 200 millimeters. And the notes about the power supply shroud is, uh, as opposed to previously what they've done uh, as far as being completely closed off in most of their cases, now they have a cutout there. And I think that that is good for them in particular because they do sell power supplies and they do sell some pretty power supplies like the high current gamer one that I got with that kind of pinkish look to it. So having that cut out there is good at the same time. I'm not, I'm, I've never been a huge fan of showing off my power supply and I wish there was like more of a modular option here. Maybe like, I don't know. Here's a removable piece to allow for the cutout. Or, you know, if you have an ugly power supply, here, just put the piece back in so you can cover it up. I'm a little questionable on their decision to put the cutout there. I realize why, like I said, and that's because they do sell their own power supplies. And I would definitely recommend getting the pretty high current gamer if you're gonna be using that cutout space. Finally, we have dust filters. We have a 360 millimeter dust filter in the top. It's magnetic and you can just pull it on and off. Works great. You have a 360 millimeter uh, dust filter in the front. However, if you're gonna be putting a radiator there, it's not gonna work out. It is, it is magnetic, so in theory, you could put it magnetic over the radiator. I don't think that wouldn't really, you're still gonna get the dust on the radiator. If that makes sense so it's nice that it's included but if you're gonna be installing any water cooling even all in one loop uh, it's not going to be very functional uh, for dust fil filtration then you have a removable fan filter in the bottom for the power supply and that is always nice to see a nice addition there it is really easily removable as well and that's usually where you're going to get a majority of your dust so Never buy a, a case unless it has a power supply dust filter. That's that's my recommendation, and this one does. So you get the seal of approval there from me on this Antec case. Let's talk about styling. It is gamery. You have a tempered glass side window. So this means you're gonna need some pretty bright lights. Of course, the ARGB prism kit from Antec will be light, bright enough to go ahead and light it up. But you need to keep that in mind because the tempered glass is always a little bit darker. It's pretty hard to see into. So if you're trying to get that good visual appeal, it looks great if you can get enough light on the inside of the case. The front panel is gonna be a love it or hate it type of thing. It is essentially a, it's designed to get better airflow off of that middle fan, which I highly appreciate. I don't know if it will be quite enough 
but I think it will, well, I don't think it will. It will be more than like the one I have the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 mod in where we only have some slight cutouts and it has that plastic in front of the fan. So it is going to get uh, more air through, at least on that single middle fan. And it kind of cuts out. So it definitely looks very Skynet-ish. It looks like you come to life and it's very gamery. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And uh, I understand that completely. I am curious what your opinions are on the styling of the case. Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you check out the Amazon affiliate link if you are interested in purchasing one. And tell Antec I said hello and thanks for sending over the case. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well. And I will see you next Tuesday.